unbelievably, one of the four Snowtown bodies in the barrel serial killers, Robert Joe Wagner, last week applied to the South Australian Supreme Court for a non-parole period to be fixed on his sentence. In a bizarre handwritten letter, Wagner asked the court to consider his guilty plea to three of the murders, his behaviour within jail and his relationship with his 21-year-old son when assessing his request. Since 1999, he has been serving 10 life sentences over the infamous Bodies in the Barrels killing spree. Ringleader in the murders, John Justin Bunting, is similarly serving life without parole. Wagner appeared in person and represented himself when his application came before Justice Greg Parker. Wagner said, I know asking for a non-parole period to be fixed may upset some people, but having a non-parole period will help with my mental well-being. Hmm. I wonder how the mental well-being of the victim's family is. Wagner added that he would like to be able to spend time in the community with his now adult son. <sighs> I'm sure the sons and daughters of the victims they tortured before death would like to have time to spend with their loved ones too. Wagner also complained that his handwritten application had been released to the media and threatened to withhold other documents if they were also passed on. He said prison authorities had barred he and Bunting from receiving external help. Corrections will not let one of my visitors come in and see me and my co-accused Bunting because the visitor is trying to help us, he said. Corrections will not allow me to have some of my mail. Prosecutor Carmen Matteo urged Justice Parker to dismiss the application saying it would be inappropriate to fix such a period because of the gravity of the applicant's crimes and the circumstances which surrounded those crimes. The serial killings were exposed in 1999 when police found eight dismembered bodies in acid-filled barrels in the vault of a disused bank at Snowtown, north of Adelaide. Two more bodies were found buried in a backyard at suburban Salisbury North while detectives later linked two further deaths to Bunting and Wagner. After a trial lasting 170 days, Bunting was found guilty of 11 murders and Wagner, who pleaded guilty to three, was convicted of 10. Bunting and Wagner had claimed that they were taking action against pedophiles, but none of the victims were found to be pedophiles. They tortured them and accessed their bank accounts to drain them of welfare payments. The final victim, 24-year-old David Johnson, had been lured to the disused bank by his half-brother, James Vlasakis, another of the convicted killers. After being tortured for his bank details and murdered, Wagner suggested they cut a slice of meat from the young man's thigh. They then fried it and shared it around. I have previously done a video on this case and I'll leave the link at the end of this video. But there are scenes from the movie that was made included and I warn you, it is graphic. This man should never be released from prison. Justice Parker adjourned Wagner's application to return to court for further argument later this month.